Good morning or good afternoon class. Today we are going to talk about algebra, the most basic algebra that you can see. Uh, algebra, in, a, in other words, is basically to simplify it down, it's just math with letters. Don't get scared if you see letters. It, you're basically going to see them for the rest of all your other math classes. So you got to get comfortable with them. You got to get used to them by practicing them because practice makes perfect. Okay, to break it all down, you're basically, you're going to have to be combining uh, letters. That's basically what's going to be happening. If you have x plus x plus x, you're going to have 3x. You see 3x's? You're going to write 3x. That's basically how it is. Uh, and when you get higher up in math, you're basically going to be presented with a value like this x equals 4. And that is how uh, it can be incorporated with x because x is a number. It can be assigned a number. So if your teacher tells you x equals 4, you're basically plugging in 4 for every single x, just the x, because x equals 4, not y, just x equals 4, so you plug it in with the 4. God dang it. Basically, you plug it in, x equals 4, you basically plug it into every x that you have. That is basically what is happening right here. 4 plus 4 plus 4, you have... Three times four, three x, three times four, as it is right there. What is three times four? It's just twelve. So that's basically how you use uh, x's and how you plug them in. And it's just a much easier way to solve by not doing x plus x plus x. You just have three x's. So here you you have another letter. You have y. So right here you have x plus x plus y, and you're basically just combining. Like terms, you're basically combining and uh, all the pairs that you have, uh, anything that matches, you're basically you're basically bringing them together. So you have x plus x plus y. You have you have two x's that match, so you bring them together. So you have two x plus y. The y st stays just like that because it has no other partner. It's very lonely right here in this corner. So you have x plus x plus y you get 2x plus y. Okay, now for this more uh, longer problem, but it's pretty simple to, to figure out. Uh, you have 2x plus 3y minus 5x plus 4y plus 6. So here, basically, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to do is um, basically combine everything that you see that matches. So you have 2x and you have a negative 5x here in green. If you want to color coordinate, it'd be very helpful, but if not, it is okay. So basically, to make it easier, you, you can move the negative 5x over here under this, and you have a simple subtraction problem right here. So you have 2 minus 5, it would equal negative 3x. It's around that same concept that we saw of, of if I have $2 and then I owe you $5, I still owe you $3. But you just, you carry the X along with it. Now with the Y's, you basically do the same thing that we did before. You move the 4Y, so you have 3Y and then you have 4Y, you're basically just adding them together, uh, putting them together, and you're left with 7Y. Positive, of course, because it's a positive and a positive, you just add them together. And right here, this six, this six has doesn't have uh, doesn't have an x or a y, doesn't have any letter, so and it doesn't have any uh, pair to match with to bring them together. So it's just by itself, and you just bring it down to the problem. So you're left with the answer: negative three x plus seven y plus six. The concept that you're, that you're trying to learn is you're making a longer problem into a smaller problem. That is basically where it, what is happening here. Don't be afraid that there's just not one, one number as your answer. You're going to find this in a lot of your math class where it's not as easy as just an, an answer of two, of three, or something like that. You're going to have letters inside your answer now. Um, so yeah.
That is basically the answer, negative 3x plus 7y plus 6. I hope you guys understood the concept. Thank you very much.